Hello, how to solve for x from this given nice equation x raised to power 2f minus 1 is equal to 0. Solution. We have the given equation x raised to power 2f minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, s raised to power 12 can be written as s raised to power c is square minus 1 is equal to 0. So, this is the same thing as s raised to power c is square minus 1 square is equal to 0. If you look at this, this is in form of perfect square. If you have a square minus b square. This is equal to a plus b bracket a minus b. Let's substitute s raised to power c is plus 1 bracket s raised to power c is minus 1 is equal to 0. So we can still express this as s raised to power c is minus 1 is equal to 0. This is equal to s raised to power 3 square minus 1 is equal to 0. Then s raised to power 3 square minus 1 can be written as s raised to power 3 square minus 1 square is equal to zero and this can be written as s raised to power three plus one bracket s raised to power three minus one is equal to zero. So therefore we have x raised to power twelve minus one is equal to s raised to power 6 plus 1 bracket s raised to power 3 plus 1 bracket s raised to power 3 minus 1 equal to 0. We have three cases here. Let's call this case 1, case 2, and case 3. So let's start with this s raised to power 3 minus 1 is equal to 0. Let's call this first case. So this is the same thing as s raised to power 3 minus 1 raised to power 3 is equal to 0. Then if you have a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3, this is equal to a minus b bracket a square plus a b plus b square. So this is say this is s raised to power three minus one raised to power three is equal to x minus one bracket a square plus s plus one then equal to zero and from here we have two cases here the first case is s minus one is equal to zero therefore s is equal to one and from the second case s square plus s plus one is equal to zero this is a quadratic equation which can be solved using quadratic general formula the quadratic general formula is given as s is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. And from this equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 1, c is equal to 1. Let's substitute s is equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 square minus 4 
multiply by 1, multiply by 1 over 2, multiply by 1. S is equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus 4 over 2. Then S is equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of minus 3. But square root of minus 1 is equal to I, then S is equal to minus 1 plus or minus root 3I over 2. This is the value of S. Let's call that one second value of X. Then let us consider the second case from here S raised to power 3 plus 1. Second case is s raised to power 3 plus 1, and this can be written as s raised to power 3 plus 1 raised to power 3 equal to 0, and this is equal to 0. s raised to power 3 plus 1 raised to power 3 is equal to s plus 1 bracket s square minus s plus 1 equal to 0. Then from here, s plus 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, s is equal to minus 1. Also, from this case, we have s square minus s plus 1 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation. Let's solve using quadratic general formula. We have a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 1, c is equal to 1. And the general formula is s is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. s is equal to minus bracket minus 1 plus or minus square root of minus 1 square minus 4 multiply by 1 multiply by 1 over 2 multiply by 1 s is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of minus 3 over 2 then s is equal to minus s is equal to 1 plus or minus s is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 3i over 2. This is another value of x. Now let's consider the last case which is the third case. The third case is s raised to power 6 plus 1 is equal to 0. Then s raised to power 6 plus 1 is equal to 0 can be written as s square to the power of 3 plus 1 is equal to 0. So this can be written as s square to the power of 3 plus 1 raised to power 3 is equal to 0. Then this is s square plus 1 bracket s raised to power 4 minus s square plus 1 is equal to 0. There are two cases here. s square plus 1 is equal to 0 or s raised to power 4 minus s square plus 1 is equal to 0. Then from here, s square plus 1 is equal to 0. Then s square is equal to minus 1 
then s is equal to plus or minus i this is the value of x now let's consider this case s raised to the power 4 minus x squared plus 1 is equal to 0 so this can be written as s square square minus s square plus 1 is equal to 0 this is a quadratic equation which can be solved using quadratic general formula as well and the quadratic general formula is given as s is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a then a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 1 c is equal to 1 let's substitute then s square is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 3i over 2 then x will be equal to plus or minus square root of 1 plus or minus root 3i over 2 then this is the final answer therefore the value of x are s is equal to minus 1 1 plus or minus i minus 1 plus or minus root 3i over 2 1 plus or minus root 3i over 2 and plus or minus square root of 1 plus or minus root 3i over 2. So this is the final answer.